out of the dark of night, from the shadows of the senses comes this, the fantasy of fear, nightmare, starring as your exciting guide to terror, Peter Lorre. Consider this business of uh, of new life. I mean, uh, really new life, something that has never lived before, that has its beginning not in a in the dark shadows of past history. Oh no, but but now, a new kind of fish, perhaps that nobody knows about, that may be swimming now in some remote lake in northern Canada, or or perhaps a strange kind of plant. I know the story of a man who who liked plants and flowers, a man who who planted a seed, and he trapped himself. You are listening to Peter Lorre tell you of The Hybrid, another transcribed story of Nightmare. Now about this man, this man who liked plants, he was something of a botanist, something of a of a Luther Burbank, and he owned a large greenhouse, and, and he made his living by raising beautiful flowers, seniors and tulips, and, oh, he was known for his most beautiful orchids, orchids of strange and unusual shades. His name was John Fenway, and he had a beautiful wife, and her name was Rose. Come on, boy. Come on. Oh, he hates to come in here. Come on, boy. Come in. Ah, that's a boy. Right over this way. Kevin! Kevin! Over here, Mr. Finway. Hello, Charles. Mrs. Finway. Thought well, I'd drop in and take a look at the hybrid. And sell it live. Well, why shouldn't it be? Excuse me, Ron. Here, you get away. Get away from there. Down, 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 down. Almost knocked the table over. Well, never raise your hand to him, Charles. I'm sorry, Mrs. Fenway. Oh, Kevin, come here a minute, will you? Oh, yes, Mr. Fenway. Oh, it's always so hot and sticky in here. Well, it's as much like the tropics as we can make it, Mrs. Fenway. Darling, I'll wait for you outside. I'll be with you in a minute, dear. Just a minute. Kevin, what's this uh, sticky ooze in the side here? Mm -hmm. Oh, that preparation I was telling you about. Plant hormone stuff? Yeah. Well, are you sure it's all right? And it won't kill it. Why, I don't think so. You gave me the go-ahead to try it, Mr. Fenway. Yes, little... John. Yeah? John, what's that thing? <laughs> this? Why, it's an experiment, Rose. Kevin and I cooked it up. Hey, Kevin? Oh, yes, uh, and it's something very different, Mrs. Fenway. Very different. Well, it's a kind of a mongrel plant, dear. Mixture of all sorts of things. We really did a job on this one. It's a real hybrid. Hybrid, they end all hybrids. <laughs> What's the matter, Irish? Uh, don't you like the new plant? I don't eat it. <laughs> well, Rose, you're absolutely pale. Well, it's horrible. Horrible? Rose is just a plant. Plants aren't horrible. The flowers. Yes, it's blooming nicely, isn't it? Seems to be growing fast, Kevin. Maybe that hormone mix does work, eh? Yes, I, I think it does. It works very well, better than I, I expected. Those flowers. What, Rose? Flowers on it. Oh. Well, what's the matter with them? Well, they remind me of... Blood. Well, they're red. Why not? Oh, a different red, John. Like, like dried blood. Oh, right. And those shoots coming from it. Uh, tendrils, Mrs. Fenway. Yes, they are peculiar, aren't they? They're like grasping fingers, John. They, they remind me of slimy, plant-like fingers. <laughs> John, it's a horrible oh, Rose, thing. it's only a plant. It's a strange one. A hybrid, but a plant, no less. John, let's get out of here. Ah, uh, you're letting your imagination run away with you. It, it smells, too. It smells terrible. Yes, it does have a peculiar odor, doesn't it? It smells like... Like... Like carrion, Mrs. Fenway? Yes. It's yes, just like carrion. <laughs> Easy there. He seems upset tonight. Irish? Well, maybe he caught a cold or something. Taking him into that third greenhouse didn't do him much good. It's always so hot in there. Mm. John. Yeah? Charles Kevin. Kevin? What about him? Oh, I don't know, but... Well, hasn't he been acting rather strange lately? Strange? I don't know what you mean, Rob. It's the way he looks, I guess. The way he stares. 
He's always so preoccupied. Well, Gavin's always been a funny one. I gave up a long time ago trying to figure him out. But whatever he is personally, Rose, he's a good botanist. A darn fine botanist. Morning, Mr. Fenway. Morning, Kevin. We came by to look at that horrible plant. It's doing nicely, Mrs. Fenway. Very nicely. For heaven's sake. You see? Well, that's not the same plant, is it? The very same, Mrs. Fenway. It's grown two feet since yesterday. At least two feet. Uh, two feet, three and a half inches, Mr. Fenway. Not that much overnight. That's impossible. Well, apparently not. We, uh... We'll have to make more room for it, Mr. Fenway. Yes. I thought we might move it over there. What? Oh, uh, yes, that's a, that's a good spot, Kevin. I, I can't believe it. Well, Kevin, that, that hormone liquid of yours is... Oh, I don't think it's the hormone mixture alone, Mr. Fenway. What? But every plant has its natural rate of growth. But nothing grows this fast. This one does. John. Yes, Ruth? L- look there. Huh? What? Behind that leaf, in the tendrils. What is it? Good Lord. <gasps> e- easy, easy oh. now, darling. Oh, wait, Mr. Fenway, I'll get you. Oh. Hold the oh. curtain now, darling. It's only a dead rat. I can't seem to pry it loose. Oh. Must have dropped off the overhang into the plant. G- get it out, Kevin. Oh, I, I... I can't, Mr. Fenway. Huh? I, I can't get it out. The plant's holding it. What? Why, I don't think it was dead when it fell in. Those tendrils are holding it too tightly. Wrapped around its neck. Oh! That rat was strangled to death, Mr. Fenway. Strangled by the plant. Huh? A dead rat. Strangled to death in a in a coil of a strange plant. Oh no no no! The the plant couldn't have done it. Not not deliberately. The rat just got caught there in a in a tangle of vines. Couldn't get out. An accident. But John Fenway isn't so sure, is he? And he's trapped. Trapped in a living nightmare. Well, perhaps you don't believe this story. Perhaps you're saying, oh, no, this can't be. There's no such thing as a, as a plant that eats flesh. Huh? There isn't? Ever hear of the Venus's fly trap? Oh, it's a beautiful thing to see with long green petals. But the petals have spikes along the edges. And if you watch the plant for a long, long time, maybe you'll be lucky enough to see how it eats. How the insect wanders blindly onto the petal. Pause. And then... Snap. It closes on a poor fellow and, and he's trapped. And the plant... The plant begins to eat. Slowly, slowly digesting him, mm, slowly assimilating its food into, into the stem and the leaf and the root. Oh, yes. Yes, there are carnivorous plants, you know. And John Fenway seems to have one, a bigger and better one. Mr. Fenway? Uh, uh, Mrs. Fenway? Quiet, boy, quiet. Uh, Sit down, Kevin. Iris, stop it. Uh, Mr. Fenway. What is it, Kevin? It's about the plan. Mrs. Fenway doesn't mind. Go ahead. Well, uh, that rat, Mr. Fenway. What about the rat? Well, I left it there, wrapped in the tendrils, just to see what would happen. I told you to get rid of it. I think you'd better listen, Mr. Fenway. All right, go on. Well, it's gone. Every bit of it except the bones. What are you talking about, Kevin? Oh, the rat, Mr. Fenway. The plant ate the rat. Digested it just as though... Oh, for heaven's sake, stop being ridiculous. That's impossible. Perhaps you'd better see for yourself, Mr. Fenway. All right, you stay here, Rose. No, John, no, I won't let you go in there alone. But I said... Stop. I said I'm going with you. All right, come on. Wait a minute. 
right? Well, there's something else I didn't tell you in the house. What? It, it's growing. I can see that. It's twice as large as it was yesterday. But I mean, I mean, you can see it grow. Hear it sometimes. Kevin, you're out of your mind. All right, Mr. Finley. <gasps> I John. told you not to come, Rose. Oh, I, I'm all right. One day and a half. Not a shred left. Here. Well, I think you... John! Rose! Look! Look at it. It's moving. Rose, for heaven's sake, you're seeing things. Don't I tell you it's moving. Listen. Good Lord, it is moving. It's growing. Listen, will you? No, I can't move it. Easy, Tom. Easy, easy. It stopped. For the time being. John. Yes? I'm going back to the house. Yes, yes, you go ahead, Rose. Uh, take Iris with you. Uh, go on, boy. Go on, Iris, now. Uh, go on, I said. Go on. Well, Kevin? It will need food again. Never mind that. We better call the society. No. What? Well, not yet. Well, why not? It's a freak, Mr. Fenway. We, we can't tell how long it will live. If we call the society and then it dies before they can get somebody up here, why, why we'll be a laughing Well, who cares about that? I care about it. I've got a reputation to protect. Now, let's wait a few days, see if it thrives. Uh, then we'll call the society. All right, Kevin. Maybe you're right. Listen. Not much this time. Just maybe half an inch. Yes. Oh, it's hungry. I suppose it's hungry. I'm... I'm going back to the house. Yes, Mr. Fenway. John. Hmm? You asleep? No. John, what are you going to do? About the plant? I don't know. Are you... Are you sure? Sure about what? That rat. Are you sure it was the plant? Yes. John, I'm afraid. Afraid? It's evil, John. It's evil, and we shouldn't keep it. Well, it's only a plant. What's that? Irish. John, it sounds like it's coming from the third greenhouse, John. You stay here. Oh, good Lord. Just look at it. That poor dog didn't have a chance. It was hungry, Mr. Fenway. Kevin, hand me those shears. What are you going to do? Kill it. I'm going to kill it. Hand me the shears. Oh, no. Kevin, I told you. All right, I'll do it myself. Oh, stay away. Now, look here, Kevin. You stay away from that plant, I said. Kevin, what's the matter with you? Well, you get out of this greenhouse, Mr. Fenway. You, you get out. This is my greenhouse now. This is my plant. Kevin! This is my plant, you hear? My plant, I grew it. I cared for it. I'm going to keep it, and I'm going to get the credit. Kevin. Now, you get out of here. All right, Kevin. It's a great scientific discovery. I won't let you destroy a great scientific discovery like this. All right, Kevin. Now, get out of here. It needed food, and it's growing. You, you gave it Irish. That dog didn't wander in here. You brought him in. You gave him to the plant. Get out of here, Mr. Fenway. It's my plant. Get out. Destroy it. You can't let this thing live. 
first a rat, then your dog. No telling what it might eat next if you let it live and and grow. But Kevin, Kevin wants to keep it. He wants to study it for science, he says. I think he's just fascinated. Fascinated by evil. And between Kevin and the plant, John Fenway's trapped. Trapped in a living nightmare. Who knows? Who knows in what dark, fetid pool in some remote jungle, what odd form of life may now be taking shape? All the forces of nature combining to give breath to, to some horrible mutate that might destroy the world. It's not a nice thought, huh? It's so, uh, it's so possible. But then we don't have to go to a jungle. Our scientists in their laboratories combine forces of nature every day. They have all the materials at their disposal. And they give us vitamin pills and and hormones and atomic bombs and and John Fenway. Look what he's given us with his experimentation. A new kind of plant for our garden. But an expensive one to feed, huh? Hello, operator. Hello. 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 Operator. Can't raise a soul. Charles, Kevin. Yeah, he's got the line, of course. Try the car again. I tried, Rhoda. I tried, I tell you. He, he took something out of it. There's something vital. It's completely dead. I might as well not have it. What are we going to do, John? I don't know. We could walk into town. It's 15 miles. But we can't stay here. While we're walking to town, he uproots the plant, puts it in the station wagon, takes it off someplace. Anyhow, who, who would believe us? We've got to take the chance, John. Rose, he won't let us off the property. But how can he stop us? He's got a gun. That. Kerosene. The whole greenhouse. It's the only way, Rose. We have to destroy that plant. I know, I know, darling. I'll need your help. All right. You walk in. I'll try to persuade him that we're on his side. When I knock over the pail, you drop your cigarette into it. Yes, John. In the flare of fire, maybe I'll be able to get the gun from him. At least I hope so. Darling, be careful. Yes. What was that? <laughs> John. It's out through the glass. The plant? Yes, it sliced right through. <laughs> this is funny, isn't it? John. John, stop it. Stop it. All right. All right, I'm... I'm sorry. All right, come on. Let's get down there. All right, then, Willie. Don't come any closer. Kevin? Told you not to come near this greenhouse. I know. Only... Only what? Kevin, we've... We've reconsidered. I... I guess I was excited, Kevin. I was upset about the dog. Yes. I'm not fooling, Kevin. I've, I've been thinking about it. You're, you're right, you know. It's, it's, it's too great a discovery to destroy. We, uh, we want to help you, Kevin. We, we want to help with the hybrid. No, closer, Henry. Kevin, I mean it. We want to help. Help? Now, uh, may we come in? All right. But don't touch it. Come, Rose. Through the wall. Yes. Yes, we heard. Oh, Lord. Don't look, Rose. Still growing. Yes, it's still growing. Beautiful thing. Beautiful. Yes, isn't it, Fenway? Isn't it beautiful? Just look at it. Look at it grow. How the tendrils wave about. You see how it's developing, Fenway, into a plant with locomotion? No more standing still. <laughs> see it move? Oh, the beautiful. Yes, it, it certainly is. What's in that pail, Fenway? Huh? Oh, oh, the pail. Uh, just some fertilizer. I thought I'd drop in at the first house on the way back. Those, those zinnias need fertilizer? It smells more like... Oh, Kevin, it's only... Kerosene. It's kerosene. All right, please. John. It's the only way, Kevin. No, no, my plant. Don't kill my plant. No, 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 my Kevin, plant. Kevin, get out of here. Kevin, take it home. Get me out of here. Rose, get out of here. Let's go. Let me go. I got him. Go outside, Rose. It's all right, Rose. That's been me. Then what? I'm crying, Kevin. Down the fire, John. Come away. I can't leave him, Rose. You, you go outside. I'm not leaving you here. Now, come on, John. No, no. 
Leave me alone, please. No. Cut it, cut it off. Cut it, cut it. Cut it. Choke me. <laughs> What makes you afraid? <laughs> 